Hey guys, here's an update. We're really close finally to putting the contents onto the websites. And um, yeah, I keep saying that, but then we keep hitting pieces where we realize we need to make a change to improve upon the quality before we can incorporate all the coding into our remote control method for uh, running it out to all the websites. That's because there's two parts. Every time we make an update at the core, we have to update the core and we have to figure out what files that affect on the final websites. So then we have to run file updaters through the final websites to be able to handle what we're gonna throw at them. So we keep going through this day by day, code, test, it checks out, run the updates. Code, check, it tests out, run the updates, kind of scenario. And then uh, little notes about improvements to it. So <laughs> it's been kind of a pain, but at the same time, it has turned into a wonderful monster. So let me just show you in shorthand what all that means. So if I'm sitting here, I can look at a bunch of topics that we created for uh, one of the industries. And if I go check it out, I mean, it is good. How do you calculate the settlement amount? Well, we got an introduction for that. Accident attorney specialized in resolving cases of blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, what is a good settlement offer? Ah, this. Uh, how many days is settlement usually? Is 30 days enough? Uh, what is the formula for pain and suffering? In other words, calculating pain and suffering. What is the formula for calculating personal injury settlements? How are final settlements calculated? How is vehicle settlement calculated? Um, can I pay the full amount after a settlement? Because we're talking about both sides here. Accident attorneys help both si both parties, right? To an injury, not just the injured. That's some accident attorneys, but other accident attorneys are helping the person who did the injury. And then, um, you know, out of the way, motorcycle injury claims to make sure to include it. And then call us now to discuss your legal options because we always want to close with a call to action. That's nuts and cool. And look at the length of this page. You're talking about almost 3,000 words, right? It's amazing. So uh, yesterday at this time, I was writing, I was able to write 400 words a minute. Okay, I had, that was the average because I had to organize the information, then produce it. Organize some more, then produce it. And uh, today, we're up to 1,000 words a minute. And I don't mean running parallel instances. I mean, we made fundamental improvements uh, to the coding. <laughs> so it's a really big deal that we're doing this stuff first, getting the coding updated first, and then make sure to run file updates through all the other websites so that we're prepared to do that. Uh, it was just important. Okay, having said that, let me, let me kind of speed this up a bit. <laughs> These uh, templates, they're cool. I like them. And uh, they point out the phone number, uh, the phone number is really clear. Uh, what it is that needs to happen, they got to click here, but that's really going to be the phone number. Um, and uh, all this generic content is going to be overwritten automatically very, very soon. We figured out how to do that with the front pages, with all the things by using an autofill mechanism. And we figured out how to make that really, really hot. And we figured out um, what we're doing with the internal pages. And all these websites are outfitted with blogs. All these websites can handle automated blogs, automated blog comments, uh, automated testimonials or something along those lines, reviews or, you know, uh, experiences of people going through treatment like this. We can do it any way we want. It's very, very cool. And so we've got accident attorneys. Um, we've got drug and alcohol rehab. We have accident attorneys covering everything that we care about for accidents, whether it's car accidents, work-related injuries, dog bites. Um, these are things that we get to do. And again, you're seeing all the generic text. You know how long it takes now to change all the generic text on the front page? About five minutes per site, the way we do it. And it works. So there's that, it's, it's really amazing. And then, uh, so yeah, we've got all these uh, done and ready to roll. And so we are very, very close to final adoption of our latest, uh, you know, routines for the content generation. And then we're going to push it out. We're going to push it out through all the websites, right? And that's cool. Again, I like these websites. These websites are really quality. Uh, they're just really, really nice. Work-related injury idea. Again, you don't want to get graphic. When you're showing 
death and destruction and things that would be gory. You don't want to do it that way. You want to indicate, so you want to show with an example of what happened, but you need to leave it open to interpretation. Like, yeah, I could see myself in that situation. The guy fell off the ladder and landed on the hard floor. That would ha That's what happened to me. You want that, right? Yes, I'm going through a very tough time uh, at school because I can barely handle my drug addiction or my alcohol addiction, right? I can't make the team this way or what am I going to do when they give me the test, you know, all that kind of thing. So you want to keep it general purpose enough, right? Um, and yet interesting enough. So we've got all these great sites. Okay. And yeah, whatever the locations are going to be, we can use videos um, for different log uh, areas there, just how-to videos or you know, intervention style ideas. I mean, it's real simple to, to make these decisions, update these sites. So yeah, it's just been waiting for us to go through that. But all the contents were written to kick off. Look at this. Uh, for drug and alcohol abuse, I mean, you're talking, we got like 11 solid pages, creating a supportive addiction recovery community, understanding addiction and its impact, helpful tools for long-term addiction recovery, Managing addiction-related triggers, mental health resources, so on and so forth. Um, it, it's really, if I were to look at any of these pages the way they are, you know, understanding addiction and its impact. Definition of addiction. What is addiction? It's a complex condition which a person finds themselves, you know. Uh, causes of addiction. Effects of addiction. Treatments for addiction. Prevention of addiction. It is what Google considers quality content. It's not fake, it's not filler, it's meaningful. It's the kind of content that should be on the website, okay? And of course, our guys are gonna put images through all these things after we get them up. It won't take long uh, because we're really good at that. Helpful tools for long-term recovery, like what happens after you get back out of the rehab center. Understanding the benefits of therapy exploring addiction support groups, right? Gaining medication assistance, developing a healthy lifestyle, right? And it gets clear, it's educate yourself on a healthier lifestyle, set realistic goals, find support, take time for recovery, be empathetic, build a community. You see that? This stuff is hot. So we have all this material that we're gonna be able to push out through these websites for all the different areas that we're gonna go into the locations that we're going to go into and I'll be catching up everyone's position soon. I haven't physically caught that up because for me, that's like the last step after all this stuff is going, just double check which communities are best. Um, ba like based on what you paid for, I've had some people ask if I'll double check it, right? Uh, paid for accident attorneys. And then aside from that, what about the alcohol and drug abuse? Should it be in the same location? No, nah, probably not. Accidents, you know, happen usually in poor areas across the country. Um, people with bad habits when they're driving, <laughs> um, potholes in the roads. Uh, poor areas mean less money for road repairs. You might have put potholes. And when you have big potholes in the road, sometimes people jerk at the last minute and it confuses the next guy. And so that kind of thing. But drug and alcohol rehab is usually either the parents of the person who's affected or a very close set of friends doing an intervention at once, something like that. Um, and so it's people who can afford that more often than not, um, because I don't even know how ins insurance covers somebody going into that situation. I don't know that that happens in any of the 50 states. Maybe somebody does. But the idea is to look up you know, where these rehab centers are, how many cases there are. It's not that hard to figure out. And it's like, okay, there's a good place for that. Okay. So then just coming back to what you guys paid into, that's how that goes. Now we are going to be applying all these contents through all these websites and they're going to change pretty much overnight. Okay. It's going to be uh, either one of the days this week or one of the days next, because again, I'm being really anal <laughs> about just how incredible the quality is before it goes out through all the websites because I just want it to hit like that. It should, it will. And that just means when we go and add more, we are so far ahead of the curve anyway, it's not funny. Then the other thing I want to point out, all of our websites are caught up with 
all of our evolution coding. So everything about the actions, the user actions, the user scrolls, user exits, statistics, self-optimization progress, everything in this back end is completely where we can see it. For integrations, we're gonna, you know, integrations we're gonna do, obviously one of them is Moment CRM. Uh, I let you guys know that's exactly how we can stare over the shoulder at people and physically watch them do something like this, you know? Watch them click and play, and then skip all the inactive period of them not moving their mouse or scrolling. And then when they start doing that again, we watch them. We see what they look at. We see what they click on. We see what pages they go to. We see why. We figure out what they're thinking. We see when they call, let alone just tracking calls. You know, And of course, we can't see when they call on a desktop. They're looking at the number and typing it into a phone on a desktop, right? But on mobile, we track it. We actually see the click on that like a, a, any other link. But the fact of the matter is we watch uh, users interact. So we can see if there's something missing or if there's a new uh, topic we should put in there. Um, and we can just follow through their actions and make sure always that these projects are lining up right. And so as we incorporate stuff like AdSense, that's one thing we did learn. We were going through this, we kept going back and forth going, oh, hey, there's things you need to fix on the site uh, for the, the model site that we were working on. And we kept saying, okay. And then they're like, GDRP, it's like, okay, we got that fixed. So CC, what is it, PR something, uh, for California privacy policy regulation or whatever. So we've you know, got a privacy policy in place for that, got a terms and conditions in place for that. Then they go, the content's a little thin. It's like, oh, I know why. We're just pitching what to do about catching a lawyer on the main pages. So we add to, need to add more educational pages to the site, piece of cake. And so that's just it. We're going through all those motions live. It's absolutely awesome because we're being hand led. Here is how you succeed, you know? We're being shown. And so that's awesome. Okay, so what I wanna say for those of you who haven't hopped in yet, Maybe Christmas was holding you up, Christmas, New Year's and stuff. Uh, but if you want to get moving on this, this is great because you know the, the plan we got here for you, right? You claim the position, okay? Select your industry. You're going to want to select accident attorneys for this project that, we're, that I'm talking about here. Because then select a county of whatever size. The larger the county, the more expensive it is, right? But choose something, okay? And when you do, then we're giving you a matching position, uh, similar population size, that's the point, for drug and alcohol rehab. So you have two projects growing in parallel on your behalf. We need to get you 10 times back within a year to say, okay, you've been, you know, we paid you enough for that project. Um, now, you're still in for the whole year. Say we got you 10 times back in the first three months. Does that mean that we get to cut you out of the project? No, not till the end of 365 days. So you keep earning anyway. Uh, but then we do. <laughs> you keep earning all that money. You can make 40 times over in a year. You could. Okay. Theoretically, either you want to get 40 times up front or what do you want? You want to constantly earn nine times over every year. Because then you get to roll over for another year. <laughs> roll over for another year. Now, we don't want that. <laughs> we want to make sure to get you done now, 2003, this year, right? Whom? When we launch to the time we close on. For all you guys who already bought in, that clock hasn't started yet because it hasn't started ticking because we haven't gotten the websites finished because we keep doing all the stuff that we're doing to them first. Uh, your clock's not ticking because it still looks like this, right? But this is going to change basically overnight. We're going to be able to update these websites, get all the contents onto them, submit the sitemaps, It'll be done real quick. And as that happens for you guys, you're, you're, we're on a roll. And that'll be really clear. That's easy enough to track. So I will be updating your positions in the back end just as soon as I get all this stuff launched. And then I'm saying, okay, your positions. And I'll be able to kick on the times for that. For all you guys who are in already, I'll just reset the time uh, for your start date to when we start, which is... Either this week or next. I don't know. It could be this week. We're doing a bunch of things at once, but it's still Monday. Uh, we may very well go live this week. And um, yeah, this is all 
the GPT 3.5 enabled, this is the same engine that is writing the contents of our pages as the engine that backs up chat GPT, which you guys have probably figured out is a craze beyond compare now because it's absolutely the best thing there is out there in terms of a robot being able to write content. <laughs> so the robot's writing all the contents full speed by looking at what we want and saying, oh, I know how to fill all this stuff in. Oh, I know how to fill all that stuff in. Oh, I know how to fill this in. Our robots are doing that now on our sites, okay? That's what's happening. So why do you wanna get into these? Because they're completely passive to you. You do nothing. You don't need to get a domain name. You don't need to do anything but log in and just see what's going on. And we will start doing weekly um, webinars for you guys who are in, because um, it'll be fun, right? To say, hey, here's how much we're making from clicks on the phone number. Here's how much we're making from Google AdSense. And here's how much we're making from live chat, because we'll invite uh, companies in the given areas to have their live chat function here so that people can say, hi, do you guys do this and handle that? And they can say, why yes, you know, or what are your price? Oh, here you go, here's the link, you know, all that kind of thing. Oh, you should talk to Tom about that, here's his phone number, you know. Um, and then as they're doing that, there are good conversations coming from it, then that's paid. So you're making half the revenue, uh, well, half the, half the profits starting right away um, from the calls that come through. That's why you're getting in. You're being an angel investor for the project in that area of your population growth, or we'll switch it for something in a close area, close approximation uh, to the amount of, of um, that's just it. The amount of investment you make determines how much work we can put in to that area, right? That's why it's by population. The more the population, the more the competition, the more it costs to compete, but the bigger the population is. So by competing, you make a lot more money. So it's like a longer kickoff, but bigger, bigger rewards for sure to go higher, right? In a lower population, it's quicker to compete, fewer competitors, quicker to compete, start getting things to hit, but much fewer people, right? So there isn't as big a curve coming off of that thing. It's a smaller curve. Um, it's almost a crapshoot how much you're going to get out of each location because, hey, this is all new, but we are playing this game at the highest level. We're not just competing on the quality of the content, as you know, our websites. We've always been so serious about the quality of the website coding and the website functions, um, but especially just like how fast the pages load and that we're using second gen images, minifying everything, right? The coding does HTTP handshaking, all the stuff Google wants to see for SEO. And we did it because content was always our Achilles heel. Well, now that content gets to be heavenly, that's on top of these top quality websites. And, not, and so most people, they're relying on the content to save their grace, but their websites still suck. They have validation errors. They're using old style imagery. They don't minify their coding. Google can barely understand what's going on on their pages because of the errors. So that is a competitive edge for us because we've ironed all that stuff out. We're on top quality servers spread across the nation. Uh, but then not only that, as you know, we got into what? Tracking humans, having the website be able to evaluate what the humans are doing and make changes on the website's own to improve the scoring, right? To hit the goals that we set inside the websites page by page. That's insane. That also means we don't need to rewrite through the content every month. Google's already gonna say, see meaningful, logical, sensible changes to the web pages in real time. As people cycle through them every 40 or so, whatever it is we set it to, 25, 50, um, then as people are going through and the things making those adjustments, Google bots are gonna come back and go, oh wow, that was a good choice, that was a good idea. <laughs> Cause they also track, right? They have heat maps. So they see where people are spending time and what they're doing. You know what the funny thing is? Their statistics and our statistics will jive automatically. So what that means is Google sees that what we are doing is not arbitrary, but quality, smart decision making, okay? 
And the funny thing is no human needs to be involved in that. The websites are doing that on their own. <laughs> so the websites monitor, the websites self-improve. In the meantime, we've got the best content. And if we're ever curious, we'll log in and see what users did on the site. Just so, well, we will, uh, just to make sure that uh, users are having a really good experience, that they're not having trouble clicking something or being confused by something or not sure where they're going or missing the most important thing. Uh, we can, when we watch humans interact with the pages, we can immediately figure out how to make the job better for them, how to make the content better for them, right? Because we just see how they act. Not based on what one person does, but just watching through a stack of people and seeing how the trend goes, right? Making sure they're, in, they're having a good time. So between that and what the website's actually checking and tracking, because it tracks statistics. I love the fact that the websites tell us statistics. The most watched video is that one. The most redirected link is that. The most scrolled page is this. And um, the people leaving on exit, when they left, the majority of them left at this point. Then the next most common one left at that point. The next most common at that point. That tells us a ton. This is actionable information that we get to use to figure out how to improve their interactions. And not just that, but we actually already taught the website the goals for those actions for all those sections. So we'd say on, on whichever theme it is, because we have a lot of themes in a website, we just actually do that. What are the possible actions, YouTube video? Okay, somebody lands there, I wanna set that to a high priority. And I want, the, my goal is that at least 15% of the, eh, 20. I'm gonna make it 20% of the people see that video, okay? So now that that's there, then the website will check every 25 people to see if we're hitting that goal. And if we're not hitting that goal, then what it's gonna be able to do is allow actions, alternative actions, uh, like this one here, where we can put in other YouTube videos for it to try in place of the one. We'll put them in the preferred order, okay? So every 25 people, if this is seeing at least 20% of them, what is that, five people? Uh, watch the video, then it won't make any changes. But if four people watch the video, it will swap to the next YouTube video in the list to test that one out. If that one's getting at least five people, it'll stop. But if it isn't, it'll test the next video. See, because sometimes people aren't interested in the video. You want to make sure at least enough of them are seeing a reason to click on the video. But that's when you care. That's why you set the goal. So we set all these goals. There are all these goals for all the sections of the system. And when we go and just set these goals, like the index page, you know, it's got a lot of options. And so it's like, what do we want to do with our um, things? We've got a newsletter submit. Uh, maybe we want at least 5% of the people to sign up to it. And if they don't, guess what the, the alternatives are? Try different headings, subheading, and button text. Isn't that nuts? So that it can actually see if it can improve the hit rate, right? To meet our goal. We can always come in and raise the goals when we reach the first goals. But do you see how meticulously, sensibly organized this process is? And with user tracking, when we're using or checking users, we actually track IP address and we track location. You know what we're gonna put into this page? We're gonna put uh, country, state, and city, okay? That way we can know by sorting any of them uh, where all the users come from this place, that place, and the other. And then we're gonna put some simple filter like this filter up here and the search box up here is just gonna make sure to include that so that we can make sure uh, to filter, we can do it from date to date, but also our country our state, our city of choice, or county. County will be in here too. Um, and that's just absolutely amazing stuff. It makes it completely possible, right? Uh, like this, Renton's the city, the state is Washington, there's the country and the time zone, and county is an easy extension because we have those all mapped out in our system, we have that list. So we'll know. 
if people are coming in from the right county. That is what it is that you're picking up in here, right? The right county, county, right? You're not just locked into a city, you get a whole county, uh, you know, whatever the population is. It's just cool. I love this. So yeah, guys, happen to get these things if you can, because this is the right time of year to kick it off. And we've got everything unfolding before your eyes. This stuff will be live this week or next, presented to Google, and we have the ability to create a thousand words of perfect content about any topics we want onto any of these sites anytime we'd like. It's really amazing. Like I said, just like this, right? So yeah, we're gonna win this game. Um, the, the calls are worth hundreds per call. The uh, AdSense clicks are worth hundreds per AdSense click, click, right? As long as it's a reasonable click. Um, and the um, live chats are worth like a couple of hundred each for those for good conversations. So if you get the, because that's what it is, people are paying for leads. Leads them, if they knew that the lead would become a client, you know what the average lead is worth if, if they turn into a client? Say the lawyer is going to pay us half of the profit for a certain client. I'll tell you why. A DUI lawyer with a normal case um, is going to charge about $3,000 for that case. No complications. And yet that lawyer will spend about 500 bucks out of pocket to handle that case. All the little stuff, you know, to look into the details and go check out the scene or whatever. Okay, assuming no real complications, it's about 500 bucks worth of lawyer's time slash effort. But they're going to charge 3000 okay? So it's 2500 bucks that they get cash in the pocket, except for what? Advertisement. You know what the problem is? Usually they're paying like $600 a click on Google. Or I don't care if it's 250 Point is, they're not getting everybody as clients. They're only getting a percentage of them. What they want is to pay solid money for solid results, but would they be willing to pay, you know, 1,200 to 1,500 for certain clients, absolute guaranteed clients, that kind of thing? Yeah, so instead of doing that though, they'd rather gamble a bit. They'd rather pay 200 bucks to 400 bucks per lead that looks solid. Uh, and see if they can max out their earnings a little better yet by just having a better hit rate. So they're willing to pay less for good leads that are not guarantees, but they're good, right? And so that's why this game works. And the reason they're willing to pay it is because their competitors are willing to pay it. <laughs> and so we just find it easy to support everyone in the area. So we just get to tie into it. But that's why we find services that have forwarding phone numbers. And when they set them up, they call a few of those guys at once in the area. The first one to grab it gets it. And if it's a good lead, they're the ones who are going to pay for that. Then those guys will pay for their leads. Okay. So this is a huge thing. I cannot stress this enough. If you are one of those people who want to make money online doing something totally useful, but you have no idea what you're doing, right? Um, everyone, of course, wants to spend... 200 bucks to become a millionaire. But most people have never tried it, or when they try it, they don't come anywhere near it, and they usually don't know why. Leave it to us at this point, because we've grown to this level where we can create winning content, we monitor it thoroughly, we know who's human and who's a bot, and for all the human activity, we track it. We actually know all the people in the area and whether they come back more than one day. And we can let people know, hey, this guy keeps coming back. Do you want him? And we can live chat, AdSense, and phone call the leads. And then whoever's left, we could just offer them openly. Anybody who comes but doesn't click on anything, but he comes a few times, we could offer it. Depends on whether we think we should. That's the coolest thing too. We track what's called engagements. And so um, engagements, simply put, are we track uh, how many things that they physically do, how many things they click on, okay? So maybe this guy came on Monday and clicked on one thing. Then he came back later that day, four hours later, and clicked on a second thing. Okay, we're tracking it. Then he came back the next day 
and clicked on two more things. Oh, this guy's up to four and he's back again. He needs to get offered to somebody. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. All the stuff is what we're going to share with you guys webinars like all, all the cash flows from these options how they worked how much it was and you guys are in you know so you are playing an angel investor for the projects that we create and stay out of our way let us run them because we know best right you can always ask and if any of you actually have special expertise either about the industry or the location sure let me know Tell me, right? We can create content for anything. If it's more about, wow, there are a lot of people getting hit on these side roads. Maybe we should write content about side roads, right? Don't think it's your fault if you got hit on a side road, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for this year. I don't even know where to start. All right, I'm looking forward to you guys getting in. I'm, I'm happy to let you guys know where we're at. We're... <laughs> These are probably the best websites right now that are available in English. <laughs> and I'm saying that partially because I'm tapping myself on the shoulder for all the work that we put. We put in 45K in the last three months out of pocket without selling anything. Really? Because why? Because we have been building this up hard. So the guys who are coming in and claiming positions, your investors, it's different than sales. And we put out uh, stuff about the websites had a lot of people kind of show some interest, but it's a holiday period, so they weren't buying in. Uh, many people weren't. They're like, I'll do it after the holidays kind of thing. Holidays are over, man. But in the meantime, because of all you guys pitching in like you did, you know, we never sleep, right? We don't lie around in hammocks. So all the time that money comes in, it allows us to create a bigger, better platform. Well, we're sitting... At, at a level of content generation, not just for the site we're on, but iterations for the other sites automated and website monitoring and self-improvement and user tracking and the ability to actually launch like this now is absolutely amazing. Okay. All right. There you go. That's a bit about the positions, what's going on. Those of you who already got positions, if you want to double up in some other ones, go for it. Um, for the guys who really want to go into other ones, only do it if you really have a good reason to. I mean, we can do that. But I'm just enjoying the fact that I can put all my eggs in the one basket and focus hard on that and create variations of it for everyone. And it allows the cross-pollinations of the best ideas that come in from any of these angles. We can cross-pollinate across the rest. So it gets to be a team effort where we help you guys grow along the way simply because you're all in one set group. So until I say otherwise, Accident Attorney and Addition Recovery still works together, basically because we haven't launched yet. As soon as we launch, um, that's, that's it. We're going to go to Accident Attorneys and you lose out on the second industry to back you up, to help speed things up for sure, to get you where you're going. Okay? Get in. <laughs> Don't miss. Get in. I always tell people, get in with at least 1,500 now. I'm trying to tell people, get in with at least 2K, but I'm sort of leaving it up to you. There you go. This position's already been claimed by someone else. Um, don't miss out. This is this is probably the easiest way to earn passive income um, in 2023 that I can think of. It's based on the engine that drives Chad GPT, and we can multiply the effects across all these top quality websites that we monitor. It's amazing. We can never do any of this, even um. Three months ago, we were, it was a pipe dream that we were just starting to do. Now it's done. It's, it's amazing what three months does around here. All right, guys. Can't wait to see you. Take care.